I'm in Sanford, Florida, right outside of Orlando, and a very, very special lady, Nicole, is getting ready to get surprised. Nicole Moore, let's go do it. Well, here we come. We're coming right up to the door right now. Nicole Moore. Here we go. Here we go. Hi, are you Nicole Moore? Yes. Hi, you know me? Uh, yeah. Well, let me tell you, you have, you're the winner of our Mother's Day breakfast in bed. Really? Yes. And you know what? You're live on Good Morning America right now. Oh my God. So, Nicole, if you don't mind, we would love to just put a little microphone on you because oh. America wants to know just how special you are and what you've done for your family. Okay. Are you ready for that? Sure. All right, okay. <laughs> Let's go right over to this little monitor right over here. And my good friend, Robin Roberts, she's got something that she wants to say. Okay. Okay? Okay. Here we go. It should have been the happiest time in Nicole Moore's life. It's her heart that makes her such a wonderful mom and a wonderful friend. She was married to her high school sweetheart, Lee. We always had the same goals. We always knew we wanted a family. And they had Lauren, an energetic bundle of bright red hair and smiles. And in the summer of 2011, they had another baby on the way. My sister was so, so excited to have another addition to their family. But as summer ended that year, that perfect life quickly and painfully fell apart. Her world got turned upside down pretty quickly. After weeks of being ill, Lauren wound up in the emergency room. We were able to do some blood work fairly quickly and found out that um, she had leukemia. And that was tough. That was tough. It was a shocking diagnosis. So shocking, Nicole started going into early labor. She was in one hospital, across the street, her baby girl, in the children's hospital. Nicole all along had dedicated herself you know, right from the beginning to, to make Lauren well. Nicole's two-year-old little girl smiling even through chemotherapy. Nicole never, ever hesitated for Lauren, not one minute. She was always just so determined that this is going to work and I'm going to give everything I got that it, it focused everybody. Nicole hardly left her daughter's side. She's just laying there. It's, it's hard, very hard. Nicole was up all night of every day trying to research, and uh, she just worked relentlessly. All the while taking care of newborn Tommy at the same time. I think that she gets so much credit for keeping her family intact when it could have easily fallen apart. But soon it was clear the chemotherapy was not going to be enough. More than 99% of children will be in remission at the end of their first month. Unfortunately, Lauren was not. Doctors said that Lauren's only hope was a bone marrow transplant. We all knew where it was going, but once someone finally said it, it was just stunning. They basically told us it's this or nothing. If this doesn't work, we don't have the answer. But then, finally, a piece of good news. Doctors found a perfect match for Lauren, an anonymous donor in the National Bone Marrow Registry. The doctors were very nervous because her disease was still very aggressive, but they all agreed that we couldn't wait. April of last year, just eight months after her diagnosis, Nicole and her family held their breath as Lauren got her transplant. One day I got a text and it said, Lauren has counts, which meant the bone marrow was working, and that was a big deal. A big deal. A year later, that beautiful little redhead now thriving. From a medical standpoint, she is absolutely perfect. Last year, at this time, I think Nicole's only thought was, I just wanted to have a third birthday. And now she gets to think about college and getting married and all of those things that you're supposed to get to think about, about little kids. So this Mother's Day, Good Morning America and Emma Lagasse celebrate a mom who carried her daughter and her family through the hardest time of their lives. Happy Mother's Day, Nicole. You're an amazing mother. I know our dad's looking down on us and he's smiling. I'm truly proud 
of how you've taken such wonderful care of my grandchildren. I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for being the best mom to my beautiful niece and nephew. Happy birthday. I love you, Mommy. Mommy. <laughs> well, Nicole, happy Mother's Day. Thank you. <laughs> how are you feeling? Well, you know, it's been a, it's been a rough last couple of years, but you know, my daughter's alive and well and that's all I could ask for. And There's a lot of love in this family for yes, you. Yes, I see that. Well, I have to share something with you. Hey, Lee, how you doing, my Good. friend? Good. I gotta share something. The lady that nominated you for this, it's your mother-in-law, Sally. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Sally, are you here? <laughs> Happy Mother's Day. Oh, no, absolutely. <laughs> No, I'll hey, tell you. babies! <laughs> Sally, how are you feeling right now? Oh. Did you ever think this was going to happen? Oh, no. A 120 word submission in a picture. And ABC heard our story. And if I understand this correctly, we have made our mess our message. And I'm so proud of my. Daughter-in-law, she's amazing. She's worked so hard to get her family through this. Yes, I couldn't have. be happier. Thank you so much. Well, you know, I got a lot of surprises for you. It's just just warming up right now. Okay. Are you ready for the biggie? Sure. All right, one biggie. All okay. right, come on with me. Let me have one. You ready? Uh, yeah, I think so. Oh Check my this God. Out. Look at this. We <laughs> got family. Church. We got nurses from the hospital and Otto Palmer Children Hospital. Oh wait, you got you got some special friends from down the street. Mickey and Minnie. Unbelievable. I can't believe it. Absolutely. How you feeling?